Ted Up. Today it's all about Mother's Day. We have five creative makes for Mother's Day. Now I am a mother and I would love these as gifts. Remember, these are uh, this is a compilation video. If you want any more detailed videos, in the description down below, we have all the detailed videos. But come on, without further ado, let's take a look and see how these lovely things are made. We have these newspaper coil uh, picture frames. These are really thrifty to make and oh, so cute. So to make your photo frame, you will need a number of things. You will, firstly, you'll need to make the, the newspaper coils. For newspaper coils, you need an old newspaper, you need some scissors and a glue stick and something like a knitting needle or a toothpick. Now below, I have linked a video which shows you how to make these uh, newspaper coils with a toothpick or other things and also some top tips. I'll show you quickly how to make it today, but you will need, uh, if you know, for more information, you can check that video below. You will also need um, some pieces of card. This is some uh, cereal box cut out and um, some sellotape. This is to make your sort of frame for the photo to go into. And then finally, you will need some paint um, if you choose to paint your, uh, oh, and you'll need some, I'm um, sorry, some PVA glue, uh, and you will need some paint if you choose to paint your frame. So what you've seen here is I've cut a strip across from my newspaper. With. So you've got your strip and you take your needle and you line it up sort of at an angle and you give it a tight little roll. And now you take one and you flatten it like so and like so. Take the, I'd like to I always think the thinner end is better. Take the thinner end, tuck it in, and then again start rolling. And then you just take a little bit of um, the Pritt stick and you stick it down. So then you keep going, making lots of different rolls. Then you cut out two pieces of card from your cereal box. Now again, I haven't made this an exact science. I kind of took my six by four photo and just cut round it with a, a rim. Now I'm going to have to cut the center out. Now to make it really easy, you take your sellotape. Here's my sellotape. And just stick it over. So I'm just gonna stick it on like this. There we go. Make sure you leave one flap open, so I'm going to keep this side open. I've got my frame, now I need to arrange my coils. And now I'm just going to carefully move these all off, like so. And I'm going to put a liberal amount of PVA glue. left so what you can do is you can cut a piece out like this so put it in the frame and then you can sellotape it to the back just at the top and that will help your frame stand up okay so we're ready to paint now what I've done is I've slid in some newspaper um, so that I can paint freely without worrying about painting the back or sticking it to the back by accident again I think the red ones look really nice we have some corner bookmarks always lovely I love to read and it's great to get a homemade bookmark 
So to make our flower bookmarks, you will need some contrasting colored paper. Now I've got some green because I think it looks like the grass or some leaves, but you know, you can use white and color it in yourself um, and some colors for the petals and the face. So the first thing, as with all the bookmarks, is gonna turn this into a square piece of paper by folding it over into a triangle, cutting along this edge, and you have your first fold ready. Now this you can keep to make some little baby flower bookmarks because isn't that adorable? So we do like to keep our little extras and turn them into something else. Next, I'm gonna take this pointy corner and bring it up to the fat corner at the top. And take this pointy corner and again, bring it up, creating a straight perpendicular line. Open it up, take one fold down and tuck your bookmark in. So this is your basic origami paper bookmark. Now, if that was a bit too quickly, please go and watch any of my other bookmark videos. I show you every single time how to make it and hopefully you'll see how to do it. So that's really easy. Paper corner bookmark. Now it's time to decorate it. Now, last thing, because I can and I have the space, I'm going to do a tiny little uh, ladybird. Flower bookmark. Now, for this little one, you can see just five little pink petals. This sort of daisy-like one, I created 12 petals and I made them all the same size. So really it's just about experimenting, having a go, and each flower will come out with its own characteristics and look special and unique. These are super cool stone pendants. Now, it's easier to attach them to the string than you think. Let's take a look and see how they're made. Okay, so to make our pendants, you will need a variety of things. Now the way I've secured, and this is the one I made earlier, which I'll be painting in a minute, the way I secured it is I used some um, craft wire, so you'll need craft wire and some uh, cl clippers, and I used a little bit of felt, and I actually just use PVA glue, some really strong PVA glue. Now, if you don't have this, um, you know, you can use something like Gemtac. This is amazingly strong. Or I think it's called, is it E6000 in the US? And then once you've got it secured, like this one, you'll of course have to decorate it. And now here's your choice of a tools for decorating it. I've got three different, well, four different things actually. You could use some marker pens, or marker pens only. You could use some acrylic glue, uh, sorry, acrylic paints like uh, System 3. You could use uh, some enamel paints like these ones or you can use nail varnish. Nail um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of wire off. I'm going to try and fold it exactly in half. It doesn't have to be exact but the closer it is to being exact the better. So that's your first bit done. Next thing you're going to do is cut out a piece of felt which is nice and big. The, the stone but obviously you don't want it to show, so this I think is probably quite good. Okay, and now, this is the clever bit, I'm going to push my um, uh, the, the metal bin in and out, and then I'm gonna twist it around. So, a little bit fiddly, so I'll just get on, on with doing that, and then I'll show you the next steps. So I managed to push it through twice. Now the reason I'm doing that is to make sure it's got extra hold and it doesn't slip out. So get the glue, like I say, this is just PVA glue. It's I'm sticking it quite high up because I want this loop later to be showing. Whilst that's dry, we can start painting. Have a think about what you'd like to do and, um, you know, just have a go. Maybe...
Okay, so now they're all dry, I'm going to do the last little finishing touch. Now holding it tight so that you don't accidentally pull it out, I'm just twisting it. So I have put my thumb on there to hold it. I'm just twisting this round so that when you thread your uh, thread, it, it hangs nicer. And then I've actually got some leather on order, but it hasn't arrived. It's just typical, but you just thread through your um, string or, th you know, leather, whatever, and you have yourself a wonderful nature uh, pen. Every mother needs a Mother's Day card and I think this pop-out flower garden is just the thing. To make our pop-up flower card we will need some cardstock. This is A6 once it's folded or A5 if it's open. A little bit of green paper, some scrap coloured papers, pencil uh, or black pen, scissors and glue stick and also a little bit of card but we'll come back to that in a minute. First thing we want to do is, is to create the pop-up. So at the moment you can see my card is exactly the same size, but I want it to be a bit smaller. I'm going to now fold this in half. And then, not particularly taking any measurements. I mean, the thing is you don't want to go further than about half because of how the flowers will fold over afterwards. Um, but I think staying just under the, sort of the half line would be quite good and I'm just going to go roughly. And then two smaller ones here at the back, just to kind of vary up a bit. They don't have to be exactly the same length. Okay, I'm going to fold these up. That looks good. Now I'm also going to just cut this a little bit because this is going to be kind of like a backdrop, a little bit of sky. Doesn't matter too much though what you do, you can just leave it whole if you want. Just a little bit of sky, a little bit of flowers at the front. Looking good already. So now I will glue that down. And basically, you now just have fun creating a bunch of flowers. Okay, so we've got some flowers. I might decide to cut out some more, I'm not sure yet, but we're just gonna have a look and see what they look like. I needed a little bit more color so I've kind of created just out of um, you know normal paper again just drew out a little B when you open the card it looks like this get out of the envelope and then when you open it up you've got this beautiful flower pop-up flower garden. Here are some great clay bowls. Now these are perfect for little jewelry or trinkets. We're going to show you how to make the sunflower but if you like the poppy which also is also a little bit easier to make we'll link that down below as well. Okay so to make the sunflower we will need some clay so uh, a rolling pin of some sort, uh, a knife and a bowl covered in plastic in cling film so it comes out again. So the first thing we need to do, oh and a chopping board just can be helpful but it's not necessary. So you roll it out to about that thick so that's what a centimetre. Thank you. 
last one, yeah? Mm. Look, you need to just smoothen the edges. Okay. All right, let's have a look. Let me take the end bit. You might have to do a ball now. Now we're going to let this dry and then once it's dry we're going to come back and paint it. So it's actually been a little while since we made this bowl and finally I'm getting around to painting it. I've got some brown and yellow acrylic paints. You know, I do think they look really, really pretty and they're really fun to make. And so here they all are one more time. Um, I think they're great Mother's Day crafts. Don't forget to add this to your playlist, like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Bye!